Hey guys, welcome back to the course Spring Boot. This is lecture 5, getting object as a response. So far we have built a Spring Boot application with a resource which is returning a string message. But this is what we don't want. We want a list of all the states instead of this welcome to states API string that we are returning right now. So what we need in here is we need to return a list of states. State is a class uh, which we're going to create and it's going to return the list of state as an object which is going to be an array object. So return arrays dot as list of state and this list of state we're going to build um, hard coded in here because we don't have database connectivity right now so we're going to just pull the hard coded list of state that we're going to create in here so we need to create a new object of class state which we have not created yet so we will just pass some parameters we'll come back to this later so just save this and what we are doing is we are uh, creating a list of state object state is going to be a class that we are going to create right now so we have to create a new class under our source main and just name it state what i'm going to do is uh, I'd like to keep it in a different package. I'll tell you later why, but I just want to segregate the whole uh, codes which involves states under a new package and just name it com.spring.springboot.start.states. And we are creating a new class which is a state class. And in this state class, uh, we'll have member variables which is uh, of type string and just name it a state code and another member variable which will have the state name and what we're gonna do next is generate the setters and getters for these two member variables and also we need constructors constructors to create objects of this class so we'll go to source again and generate constructors using fields and we're gonna use both of them so we have a constructor what else we need is a empty constructor this is always a good practice to have an empty constructor so I'm just gonna get rid of all these three lines and with no parameters so this is our empty constructor and just save this class what i like to do is uh, i want to move this state controller dot java to this package so that we have uh, all the code at one place so i'm just gonna move this class in here and fix these errors so this is java.util we have to import to get the list and state is a class within this main java folder so it's not a problem and we are returning arrays as a list of a new state that we're gonna create so let's create a state this is something that I don't want and let's create one more state so that we'll get a response in a nice way so this is fl for florida likewise you can add uh, as many states you want in your data so the basic idea is that we are returning a list of state and this state is nothing but a class which is having two properties which is state code and state name which is defined in this state class and we are creating on the fly object of these 
uh, of this state class here so uh, this is done and let's see if we are getting a response so here is our state API uh, our application is started now now it has started so you see this uh, response state code of Georgia name Georgia state code of Florida name Florida and we are getting an object as a response so this is really nice that you can return objects uh, you can also return HTML full-fledged file uh, we are writing a stressful web API so we are returning a object right now but you can always uh, return the JSP page or uh, some free marker templates as well a complete HTML can be a response to your web services request so this is it uh, let's move on and we'll see what is the next we are gonna do so the next thing uh, we will be building in our application is uh, we need to create a business services to call it uh, I will address it in the next lecture that how we gonna call it through a service instead of calling it uh, explicitly from a state class right now what you see here so we'll see you uh, in the next lecture have a good day